from the SiliconANGLE Media office in Boston, Massachusetts. It's the Cube. Now, here's your host, Stu Miniman. I'm Stu Miniman, and I'm here with Bobby Patrick, the Chief Marketing Officer of UiPath. And Bobby, uh, UiPath sponsored a, a new survey uh, and paper that is from The Economist. It's called The Advance of Automation. Uh, tell us a little bit uh, about what you know why that uh, paper uh, was done. Yeah. So. Robotic process automation is fairly new to the market. Automation obviously has been around a while. Uh, it's been mostly in IT where we've automated for the last 20 years. And with RPA now, you can really begin to talk to the C-level executives about, hey, I can really drive 10, 15% productivity in, with every employee. I can do, I can really begin to think about dramatic digital transformation across my entire enterprise. And so, uh, you know, we approached a few outlets, uh, the Wall Street Journal being one, uh, the FT, um, and The Economist. The Economist was very interested. They obviously have studies about you know, the impacts of the workforce uh, around productivity, um, and they viewed this as a really exciting effort to engage in. Um, we obviously sponsored it as well, uh, but the results really were from their surveys. Uh, they had multiple professionals that were on it, and we couldn't be more excited about, about, uh, about the results of the paper. Awesome, uh, a lot of data in there which uh, our audience always love. What were some of the key takeaways uh, from the results? Well, high, high interest in automation. Um, but very, only about half saw uh, really broad, broad usage of automation in their company. I think what we realize here is that uh, automation has impacted a number of areas. Uh, certainly it's hard automation. Hard automation is physical robots. Um, but, but soft automation, right, or robotic automation, um, actually had higher awareness uh, in its, its potential. So I was uh, surprised about that. Uh, but I think what's, what the most important part to me is that you know, over 90% said they thought automation could have massive impacts on the, on on the on their company. Not, not really surprising data, I would say in some cases, but I think the way they pull it all together and 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 summarize about um, its potential, I think that's what was most impactful. All right, uh, Bobby. You know, we we've been loving digging in on the cube for years about the future of work. Uh, right. You know, there is still so much you know concern or fear out there. You know, robots are taking my job. I throw in this new technology, and we understand in the IT industry it is very rare that a technology directly replaces people. Right. As a matter of fact, we, you know, we've done events with MIT, and it's people's plus machines is right. usually uh, you know the best answer. Uh, you know, where where does this uh, research fit with that whole second machine age and discussion yeah, of jobs? Yeah, I, I think what's Great is is you know two years ago uh, RPA was 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 not widely known right um, at all, and I think at the time the narrative was you know AI is going to replace jobs. There was a lot of fear, uh, but that's not what we're seeing at all, right? And I think um, the paper confirms this as well. But this is about you know robots doing the work we hate, right? Uh, robots nobody misses the work that robots do, right? Um, what we see in terms of the results and data is that. Um, the increase in productivity actually drives a more efficient workforce and a more satisfied workforce. Uh, happier employees, employee engagement, employee productivity is what we talk about often now. Um, and so I think that's, that narrative has shifted very quickly. Um, and you, know, you could argue, well, it's a low, uh, low unemployment economy, so maybe that's why. But even in certain countries that we're in, like Brazil, which have much higher unemployment, the enthusiasm there is still very high. All right, uh, as I mentioned, there's a lot of data in there, you know, which, which person in the organization is driving this, where is the awareness, there's geographical cuts of it. Right. So if people want to find out more, uh, how, do, how do they get this? Yeah, from? so uh, Economist was great. They said, hey, you know, we love your kind of view of this automation first era, like the cloud first era, Stu, that we've all been involved in for so long. Uh, the automation first era is huge, and so they said, hey, automationfirst.economist.com would be a great URL. All the content's up there now, you can download the white papers, it's a great infographic. And, uh, and it's part of The Economist, so automationfirst.economist.com. All right, uh, thank you so much, Bobby. Uh, love about it, automationfirst.economist.com, and really all you have to do, go to that website and click a button. You don't have to fill out a long form. No. Uh, I'm guessing some robot uh, just uh, you know <laughs> populates all the stuff that you need of there. Of course. <laughs> all right, uh, for Bobby Patrick, I'm Stu Miniman. Uh, thanks for joining us, as always, on theCUBE.